Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 15 of my Unreal Engine for Multiplayer FPS course and in this part we will be moving on to the character setup. So this is pretty simple. Uh, this part will be easy to follow as well. We will be moving on to a little bit of C++ as well now. So first of all we don't have any place to test out our things so create a new level in content maps call this one map one open it up just save and over here under the place actors panel just uh, add in skylight and add in the BP sky sphere now if the BP sky sphere is not visible to you what you have to do is uh, go to view options show engine content over here under engine content uh, head into I guess it's called engine sky over here you should find the BP sky sphere and we also need a directional light and this is optional but you could add in atmospheric fog as well so select the directional light or rather the sky sphere and under the details panel just change the directional light actor to the directional light now based on your directional lights rotation if you refresh the material of the sky sphere the sky is going to change accordingly now that we have that we can set up some sort of a platform for us to actually test our mechanics so first thing that you would want to do is just head into basic or rather head into geometry add in a box and just put it a bit down at zero and for the size for the x just choose a large value y as well so for now we'll be using this to test out our mechanics and now we don't have a game mode actually right now so let's create a new game mode so what we can do is right click go to blueprint class and select game mode or rather it's right here and we are going to be calling this one bp underscore game mode select that and over here now the thing that we want to change is the default pawn class which in our case is going to be our own character so our character was bp underscore character so we are going to be changing it to that now head back into the character now we need to set up some movement so if we just uh, go ahead and press play uh, we need a player start first of all so add in a player start maybe add in another one and one more thing that you would have to do is change the game mode in the world settings so head into world settings and change the game mode override to our own game mode that is bp underscore game mode save everything and you can go ahead and press play and as you can see there's really nothing much you can do so anyways we'll get to everything now open up your character so first things first let's set up our movement alright guys so now let's set up our movement so head into your project settings so project settings and under input now here we'll be checking we have some things already set up because we imported the templates so we have a couple of things the ones which we need are the ones with the mouse and WASD so look up turn move forward and move right are the things that we need so let's add in move forward now once we have this event what we can do is we can set up our movement so we can type in add movement input and target is going to be self and the direction is going to be the forward vector of the actor itself so get actor forward vector now that's going to be the direction and also the scale value is going to be 1 and now let's add in move right so the axis event move right copy that over and this time the direction of the movement is going to be the right vector of the actor so right vector so get actor right vector all right 
so we can test it out actually so right now the scale value is 1 so plug that into the axis value that's the mistake we have done now if you go ahead and press play you should be able to strafe as well as use your W, A, S and D keys so that's exactly what we wanted now also I would want to move the camera a little bit so what you have to do is select your arms and move it since the pivot and the camera is the parent of the arms you don't want to move that you want to move this rather so let's just adjust the position a little bit not aiming for perfection here so we'll adjust that a bit later you could obviously play around with it a bit so I'll just uh, rotate it a bit as well so let me just turn off uh, snapping so maybe this much should be okay and this seems fine for me until we actually get our weapon in now let's add in our turn events so add in input I believe it's called turn not input so turn now turn rate is going to be useful for your controller setup but we are uh, setting it up for a keyboard and mouse so we won't be bothering about that and over here what you want to do is you want to add your input and the value is going to go into the axis value multiplied by the sensitivity so let's multiply it by a float promote this to a variable and we'll call this one sensitivity drag that in and now for lookup as well we're going to do the same thing so look up and this time it's going to be add controller pitch input and again the value is going to be the same now I'm again assuming that uh, we don't have different sensitivities for the vertical and horizontal direction if you want different sensitivities for both you could have uh, two different variables instead of one so that works now if I go ahead and press play now nothing seems to be happening the reason is I have to enable the control rotation on this so use pawn control rotation enable that under the camera options and now if I go ahead and press play so we did quite a stupid mistake over here so we set the sensitivity to 0 let's set it to something like 0.5 now it should work now as you can see we can easily rotate our mouse around and I think this is a great starting point for us we have our character movement set up so let's just uh, comment all of this now I could have done this in C++ but it's kind of pointless so that's why I did it in blueprints so type in movement and uh, this one is going to be mouse so just put that beside each other and now we can add in a jump event so I think that's set up as well so action event jump and what we can do is we can uh, launch character and the launch velocity is something which we can determine so let's try a hundred on the Z not sure how much that's going to be so let's try that so I don't think that's enough so maybe about 500 okay that's a bit too much I believe maybe about 400 is fine this seems alright so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Goodbye.